I've had more than a few people ask me to show the house uh, with the new carpet. Um, if you remember, I used to have like emerald green carpet and it was pretty much a nightmare. And now I have a, I think it's called a freeze. Um, it's a high pile, multiple color type carpet. And I can't see any dog hair on it or little specks of things. And that makes me happy. Um, it goes up the stairs. So there's a small landing on the second floor and it's in there too. Um, I wanted to get hardwood but um, Ventura doesn't do really well on hardwood so but as you can see he's very happy on the carpet. I mean he has some piles of dog beds and pillows because he likes pillows and he still is laying on the carpet. So this was an interesting thing. I'm going to show you some of the things in my house. Um, this was a TV stand that somebody gave me, and it was full of stuff. Um, right now, there's very little on it, and I'm debating about whether to move the printer because it's a Wi-Fi printer. It doesn't really have to sit out here, um, but we'll see. I have a small desk that I replace the old um, this end up desk with and it takes up a lot less room it's a lot less cluttered the other ones had drawers and I've noticed that um, I'm not very good with things that you can store um, items out of sight because I never go back in there um, I have the same furniture which actually I don't mind anymore because it really goes with everything. Um, this is the only big storage piece and it's a problem because there's a lot of stuff in here but I did manage to clear out this drawer right here and that's where my Filofax stuff is. Um, I've cut down on that quite a lot and also the general uh, clutter on the tables and things. Um, one thing that I kept were, I've been collecting these, um, well this, these are vintage, not vintage books, but thing, books about vintage things. And I've gotten them over the last couple of years on um, paperback swap. And they're really fun. I mean, they're, you know, great coffee table books. People can just open them up and look through them, and it doesn't really require anything. They're just a lot of fun. Um, some of the things that I got uh, for very little money or free were things I got on uh, Free Cycle or in thrift shops. Uh, this is a corner... I think 60s, maybe 70s table. It's really perfect there. I got this on my light, my uh, shade has a little crooked, but this is something that I got for like $7 at a thrift shop. I did have to um, rewire it because I always rewire uh, vintage things with cords. This is another one. I got that on Free Cycle, and I got this table, which was um, isn't a matching table to this one, but it's very similar. It's a two-tiered table, and this is probably my best thing that I found on Free Cycle. You can see it from all angles. It's a um, like a bi-level surfboard table with a glass piece. Um, it could really use refinishing. It's got some issues. You can probably see some crazing and 
things, but it's considering that it probably was in somebody's basement since the dawn of time. It's in amazing shape. I mean, they go for like $1,000 on eBay. Um, and I have this book out also. I love this book. If you have a chance to um, take a look through that book, it's great. And the Vogue covers too. And the way I cleared out this space was because every cubby, all these cubbies, every drawer, every place to put stuff had stuff. And when I got the carpet and I had to move everything out of the room and I moved it into the dining room. Um, and as you can see, there's really not that much stuff left, thank goodness. Uh, just a lot of random stuff, paper, paintings, art supplies. And uh, I've even got stuff under here. I'm really good at stashing things away, but um, I collected all the paintings and rearranged them in the dining room and decided if I was going to keep my buttons, which I don't know if I am, I'm going to use them. So there's like a gray and yellow, I'm uh, sorry, yellow and blue theme from the paintings. These paintings used to be in the living room and I moved them in here. And then I moved my, then I did my buttons by color and put it in there and it goes with this uh, piece of Blanco glass that I got a couple of years ago. Um, you know, this has always been sort of a problem for me. It always ends up, I really do need it to be storage, but because it's out, um, it has to look decent. So the way I decluttered this room and actually the way I decluttered upstairs is to move everything but what I wanted to keep in this room. And initially it was really just the furniture um, and the lighting. And it was like a huge, huge relief uh, to see nothing around. And it's so much easier to keep clean. I mean, really, I used to clean like every single day and it never looked good because I used to store things on window ledges and on every surface and there was nothing at all relaxing about it. And now there's very little in here and I did that. Um, oh, these, these are uh, antique printer's trays and I have two of them. I have one here also. Uh, and I keep seashells that I get in Cape May, New Jersey. And um, I like these. I mean, they're really fun to have. They're a really good space to keep like tiny little items. Um, and they can be found on eBay for, you know, pretty expensive or in thrift shops. Sometimes they're expensive. I, I think mine were both about $15 each. So, um, but what I'm going to suggest uh, for decluttering is something that worked for me. And I've never had anything work before, is take everything out of the rooms besides furniture or furniture that you're not sure you want to keep and put it in another room. And what I found was um, there was very little that I had that I loved more than the feeling of walking in this room. And um, that's what's going on in my bedroom too. Most of the stuff in my bedroom ended up in the bathrooms and matter of fact my tub was totally unusable for a week um, and as I go through the things that are in other rooms um, it's much easier to decide what's important to me um, because it turns out what's important to me is having clear spaces so hopefully uh, you enjoyed this and I'm going to do one upstairs also, but um, 
if they're not quite done yet. So thank you guys. Um, thanks for asking, and I hope this answered any questions. And uh, have a great day.